Hello, welcome to this lesson where we are looking at uh, joint variation as our lesson 4 of the topic variation, which is a grade 11 topic. Okay, we are presenting these channels in order to help people that are writing their exams, examination council of Zambia. These presentations or lessons, if you follow them consistently, I do assure you and uh, promise you that you may not have serious challenges for you to pass the exam. All right. So I looked at um, uh, inverse variation, direct variation, and uh, another lesson where I presented a combination of the two. Now we are looking at a uh, joint variation. So joint variation is a variation where a quantity varies directly with a product of two or more other quantities. Now, when we were looking at direct variation, we were saying this is a quantity y which varies directly with, I mean, as x. Okay? That's what we were having, if you remember. So, when we were writing this as an equation, it was an equal sign, then the letter k, which is a constant of the variation. Now, we are saying here, this quantity varies directly with a product of two or more. So here, instead of just having x, maybe we are going to have z. So a product of x and z, two or more, it could be more, and we can have another one also here. Okay? That's what they are saying, two or more. So that is a joint variation. Okay? A product of two or more. So that is the point here. So if you are writing your equation, if y, uh, y varies directly as x and z, this is how we write it. Then when it comes to the equation, we are going to say k, you know k is always supposed to be there. Okay, that's how we are going to write our uh, equation for the variation. So let us look at the... The question here. Let us look at the question. P varies jointly. I mean jointly. With. P varies. P varies jointly. Okay. With what? W and V. Okay. Now when we want to write this as an equation. It's going to be P. Equals. K, that's what we're going to have. Okay? Now, you know that the first position is to determine the value of K, which is the constant of the variation. So, what is the value of K when W is equals to 3, P is equals to 30, V is equals to 5? So, we say, P is equals to 30 here. This is equals to K multiplied by, what is our W? Our W is 3 multiplied by 5. Okay? So this is going to give us 30 is equals to 15 K. When you multiply this, 3 multiplied by 5, we get 15. So to find the value of K, we need to divide both sides by 15. So K will be 2. K is going to be our 2. So we need to go back and write our equation now. So the equation that we're going to have will be what? Where there is K here, we put what? 2. So we are going to have um, the equation that I want us to write, which we're going to be using is P is equals to 2 W and V. This equation that we have formed now. Okay? This is the equation. So now, find the value of K. We have found the value of K is 2. Find the value of P when W is equal to what? 10 and V is equal to what? Okay? So we are using, we are saying P is equal to 2 W V. So find the value of P when W is equal to what? 10 and V 
So we have 2 multiplied by W is equal to 10 multiplied by V is equal to 2. What do we get when we multiply this? We have 4 and 40. So P is going to be equal to 40 here. That is what we are getting. P is equal to 40. K is equal to 2. All right? So we go, we proceed and find the other one, which is V. We proceed and find the other one, which is V. Okay? So, what is the value of V? What is the value of V if P? What is the value of V if P here? This P. This P. It's equals to what? This P is equals to 8. P is equals to 8. Then you have 2. Then e, W is equals to what? 1 over 4 multiplied by V. Take note, we want the value of what? V. So, this is going to give us 8 is equals to 2 over 4 V. We go further, 8 is going to give us 1 over 2 V. Are we together? We go further, this is going to give us 8 is equals to V over 2. You know how we multiply this, okay? 1 multiplied by V, this is Z. 1 multiplied by V is V, 2 multiplied by 1, we get that. How do we solve it at this point? You cross multiply. So V is equals to 16. V is equals to 16. Are we together? This is what we are supposed to do in order to handle a joint variation. It is as simple as what I have just done. I have presented two lessons, uh, three lessons before I came to this one. That is why it's lesson four. My request is that go and look at those before you come to this one like that. It will be easier and more helpful. Okay? So this is what I thought I could present to you. Make sure uh, you subscribe to this channel so that all the videos and other uh, revision uh, presentations that you are making, I mean we are making, you are there to, to receive them and watch. Okay? So let me give you some questions from this textbook. You can start with, you can look at this example also. It's on variation, it's on joint variation. Then the questions that I want you to do are these ones, one and two. You've seen them, we do one and two. Look at this example also from this textbook. This is progress 11, okay? There's also another question here from this past paper. I don't know if it's for 2004. It's a combination of variation and uh, it's a combination of variation and uh, this question. Copy it, copy it, copy it, copy it, copy it, copy it. It goes the table that they want is down there. So find those values that are needed there in those two boxes there. Okay. Handle these questions. This question copy. It's a very good question. Revision. It's a very good question. Okay. That is how it was. I want you to do this question. Okay. Otherwise, this uh, brings us to the end of the lesson. Thank you so much for watching.